Good morning, everyone. Am I audible? Students can reply me in the chat box if I'm audible. Okay, thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Am I audible? Okay, so on behalf of Hindi Vidya Prachar Samitis, Ram Niranjan Junjunwala College, I welcome all 11 standard and 12 standard science students for this exclusively guidance lecture for NEET aspirants. As all of you know that for any student who want to get admission in medical science, whether it is MBBS, BDS, BMS, BHMS, or any paramedical courses, NEET examination is compulsory. Today we have with us the speaker of the day who will be guiding us for uh, today's session. He is none other than Mr. Roshan A. Singh. Uh, he is a RJC alumni. He was a student of Junjunwala College. Uh, he, he passed his class 12 standard in the year 2021-2022. He scored 672 out of 720 in his NEET examination and all India rank which he had scored is 1642 and the students who are right now preparing for NEET they know the meaning of these marks that what this 672 stands for and what is this 1642 AIR and uh, uh, he got admission in the first year MBBS at AFMC Armed Force Medical Center at Pune. So without wasting time, now I uh, welcome uh, the speaker of the day, Mr. Roshan, to address all the students, share his, uh, like how he has prepared for his NEET examination and uh, how can he like overcome all the difficulties, all the challenges which he has faced during his session. Because if I remember, this was the time when uh, it, it was a COVID time and everything was online. So it was very difficult. Nowadays, students are going offline. Still, they are facing a problem. So definitely online, he must have faced a lot of problem. So how he has overcome that, uh, he will guide us. Uh, we students, uh, this is exclusively for RG College students. So everybody have to take down their notebook and pen. Whatever points uh, Roshan is sharing with us, we are supposed to note it down. Okay. And uh, at the last of the session, we are going to have a Q&A session also, question and answer. So if you have any question, keep it with you. Don't ask between the sessions. In the last 20 minutes, uh, we will take your questions and then we will get the answer from Roshan. Okay. So I once again welcome Roshan here. Roshan, sir, can you hear us? Yeah, hello, Roshan. Yeah, you're audible, sir. Yeah. So, hi, everyone. Good morning. My name is Roshan Singh. I am, I am delighted to be with you here today. So why not? I do share my PPT. So, as you already know, uh, my name is Rashmi Singh, and it feels very good to be with you. 672 out of 720, and with an All India rank of 1642, the year 2020. I have completed my class 11th and 12th from RJ College. Uh, also, I got selected in AFMC subsequently. Uh, Yeah, 
that is not in that completely overnight it requires hard work dedication and a willingness to push through difficult times success is not a destination it's a journey and the journey for success for obstacles challenges and setbacks for opportunities and learning Roshan, Roshan, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, I think uh, your voice is not clearly audible. Um, can you just uh, turn off your video so that I think it must be taking more internet bandwidth? Hello. Students, due to some technical issue, Roshan. Uh, has left the meeting. They'll soon join. We'll start the session again. Yeah, I think Roshan is bad. Yeah, hi Roshan. Uh, sorry, actually, and ran out of suddenly. I don't know why. Uh, Roshan, uh, if you can turn off your video, na, I think आपका आवाज़ थोड़ा cut हो रहा है तो शायद bandwidth ज़्यादा ले रहा होगा. Audio भी clear अच्छे से आएगा तो हम बच्चों को benefit हो जाएगा. Can you just start? I can just check whether it is audible or not. Okay. Uh, so start, uh, from no. start from beginning, uh, because it was not audible in the beginning. So hi everyone. Uh, my name is Roshan Singh, and I am delighted to be with you today. As you already know, I have cleared the NEET exam. The score of seventy-four to seventy-three. Completed my class two months ago. I'm just looking for you guys. So also subsequently, I got selected into A one C with the selection rank of one. So I am here to share my experiences and get some hard and easy example. I will point. So I am here to talk about the journey towards success. So as uh, that you know, success. Something that uh, does not come easily or overnight. It requires hard work, dedication, and willingness to go through difficult times. Uh, success is not a destination, my friend. Uh, you cannot achieve everything in life. It's a journey. Journey towards success is also not easy. So I suppose the obstacles, challenges, and setbacks. But uh, it's all the also full of opportunities, growth, and learning. As you keep on moving, uh, you will remember your older time as of how much dedication you gave to what you have done and what you have achieved as of now. So, how do you embark on the journey towards success? The first step is to set clear goals. 
Then during my preparation, I did not consider any other options uh, other than MBBS. I knew that I have to, uh, anyhow, I have to clear need. And uh, as Amit already told you guys, it was the COVID time and it was incredibly hard to uh, like study. Everyone was, st everyone was stuck with their mobile phones attending online lectures, which I agree most probably. Uh, it was very hard to get anything out of it. So, yeah, that is it. Uh, we need to know our goals, we need to write down our goals, make them specific and measurable. And also, uh, now, goals in the sense you can't set a goal, like I want to exceed mass in it. You need to set smaller goals uh, so that you can actually go the bigger goal that you have got. Like uh, on the first day uh, that you're starting, don't you will complete five chapters or ten chapters a day. Set a target, set a reasonable target, set a reasonable deadline. Um, so, that it. so, as I already told, break them into small or manageable tasks and tackle them one by one. Don't wait for the perfect moment. The perfect moment never comes. That, uh, what you have is uh, always think that I can do this tomorrow, and uh, the day after tomorrow, I can do this. Keep procrastinating, and the day comes when you are sitting in the exam hall with your pen and paper, and you need it. So, along the way, encounter challenges and setbacks. Don't let them discourage you. Instead, use them as opportunities to learn and embrace the struggle and keep pushing forward. Keep in mind that the struggle that you are doing today, uh, you will get the fruit of it tomorrow. Success is not about achieving just your goals, it's about the person you become along the way. So, keep pushing yourself, keep striving for excellence, and never give up your dreams. Uh, okay. Becoming the best person of uh, success is just about achieving. Let's start about need. So, as we all know, need is a competitive exam uh, consisting of three subjects chemistry, physics, and biology, all of specific marks with a pen and paper method. Uh, but it is very hard. But, uh, yeah. It's a pen and paper based exam. The syllabus is vast and it's covered all the topics that you have uh, taught in class 11 and 12. But don't let that intimidate with proper planning and execution. You can ace this exam. So, dear friends, take the first step towards your team and let's start preparing for need together. Uh, remember, it's not just a test of your knowledge, it's a test of your resilience and determination. Stay focused, stay motivated. Another question comes how to prepare? So, when it comes to preparing for need, studying effectively is the key to success. Everyone studies. Someone says I study 16 hours a day. Someone says I study four hours a day. Uh, at the end, sometimes the results are similar. So it's not just about studying. It's not just about doing work. It's about doing efficient work. I understand that all this can be overwhelming for you, but with the right mindset, techniques, and strategy, it can be a lot easier. So let's dive into some of the study techniques that I use. Firstly, create a study plan and stick to it. Whatever you are trying to study, divide it into smaller parts and allocate time, uh, sufficient time. Do not strain yourself and need to do this. Uh, also, uh, do not be uh, soft on yourself. Uh, don't think I can, uh, I can push the deadline, but do not. In very I push the deadline. So, the approach will ensure that you have to cover all the topics before the exam. Additionally, I suggest prioritizing the topic that you find challenging and dedicating more time to them. This way, you can overcome your weakness and improve your over, uh, overall score. So, how do you know where you are weak? Uh, it, you can just know at what you are weak uh, by practicing. Also, training uh, ourselves too much. You, you would have noticed that uh, whenever you keep on doing any task, not study, any task repetitively, for a period of more than two to three hours, you start, the book is in front of you, you are reading, but uh, none of it makes sense to you. So always keep in mind that uh, everything, uh, even a machine that, uh, even a machine needs breaks. So yeah, uh, we need to take, uh, we need to take breaks. Uh, it, the timings can be, the, uh, the timing can depend on individuals. Uh, I used to take every hour, but, uh, you take a break to remember not to get into your cell phone because then it will be another 15 minutes and then it will be very hard coming back. 
our brain needs rest. A healthy body and mind can help you better focus and perform well in exams. Lastly, practice as much as you can. Practice the previous. You know you are studying particular topic. You know that other topic. But uh, how do you confirm this? Uh, when we were in eighth or eighth standard, ninth standard, we used to uh, revise everything. Uh, after the COVID wave has come, I don't know if it has affected you guys or not. But uh, we have forgotten the habit of uh, revising anything. We we are becoming prone to rectification. We just remember things to write them down on the paper. That is not how we need to learn something. We need to embrace the topics. We need to understand. We need to have a deeper understanding of how it works, so that whenever you try to like uh, remember, write it down and pen, uh, write it down on paper, you know how to do it. So practicing regularly, I uh, like for um, me, I used to uh, like after finishing a chapter, I used to do fifty questions on that particular chapter, which I will respond truly. I was not able to solve more than fifty, uh, hundred deep questions that I was not able to solve. Uh, I used to keep them. The questions that uh, I was not able to solve, I used to keep them for uh, like for the time I had. I used to relearn the topic uh, again, see some videos on YouTube, so and then come back and solve them again. If my if I'm not able to solve it in a day or so, I will not just leave them alone. I will come back after a month or so. Uh, but I guess you guys do not have that much time left for the class that have uh, this is twelfth exam this year. Studying is a marathon, not a sprint. Uh, what happens in a marathon? You. In a marathon, you have to run, but at a particular pace. Otherwise, you will burn out uh, before reaching the goal. We need to stay motivated, disciplined, focused, and we will surely achieve our goals. So the thing about preparation is, uh, we need to stay focused. We keep on practicing. It is just about your discipline. If you, it, it's not just about studying. It's not any other task. If you dedicate a particular time slot, if you dedicate a particular amount of hours to any task, you can master it, no doubt. So the main issue that management. So let's talk about. So time management is one of the most crucial factors that determine your success in any exam. It's not just for spending your time efficient. As someone who the best way in time is creating study topics based on their weightage and strengths and weaknesses. Make sure to allow makes work, and the more you so as I've already told you, uh, we need to focus. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. Hello, Roshan. Your voice is not uh, actually audible. It's breaking in between. Can you use mic a bit closer to you so that I think it will be clear? Hello? Yes, sir. That's me.
that's better. Yes, Roshan, continue. So while studying for need, I also get to know one thing that uh, even if you have studied, it's not a good option. Uh, for, uh, like I used to study till three to three or four uh, until night, but that's not a good option. You need to give your body enough for rest. Uh, you are set for the next day. Those are some effects that I have done, so I don't want you guys to repeat it. You have sufficient uh, time in the uh, you have sufficient time in the day, so uh, don't like surrender your sleep for study. No one has twenty five hours. Uh, everyone has twenty four hours in their day. The person who gets all India rank one and the person who gets all India rank ten lakh. Everyone has the same amount of time. It's just how you utilize it. So uh, the point, this point, everyone has their own strong points and weak points. Uh, there's someone who believes that biology is hard and there is someone who believes physics is hard. So uh, we cannot copy someone, we just can uh, uh, learn from their mistakes. We have to focus on our preparations, set goals that are achievable. Uh, believe in yourself, never ever think I was also in RJ College, you who are in RJ College. We are a specific, RJ College is not that easy to get, uh, especially. And many people have tried. In, so if you have to do that, then uh, obviously go ahead. Everyone is new. Uh, no one has any special uh, pass. I, so also, there are mistakes to avoid procrastination or practicing enough, comparing yourself with others. As I already told you, everyone is different. Everyone has their own strong points. Everyone has their own weak points. It's just about how you look at yourself. You need to know that you are strong and that you will hold your ground. Okay, so now let's talk about common mistakes that we should avoid. So during my knee preparation, I made some mistakes that cost me some precious time and affected my performance. I don't want you to make those mistakes. One of the biggest mistakes that we make is procrastination, as we discussed earlier. It's essential that we start early and finish early. We don't. Uh, many people wait for the end moment to do any task. Uh, for example, when uh, I was small, whenever I was assigned a homework, I used to wait till the evening <laughs> so that I can do it. Uh, but no, that is not the best way to do. Another common mistake is not practicing enough. We think uh, that studying the theory uh, is just enough to crack the NEET exam, but that's not the case. So I'll give you the previous year questions. Sample papers and mock tests help you to get familiar with the exam pattern and improve your speed and accuracy. I'm not lying. Uh, I used to India test series uh, arranged by Akash. So I used to get 380, 390 in the beginning. But yeah, it's all about practice. Uh, practice, uh, you know, the approach to take. Uh, to, I'm sorry, this is the first time I'm taking quite oh, nice So yeah. Also, uh, when you solve many questions, uh, when you solve a uh, lot of questions, a lot of previous year questions, more people to know the approach for specific questions. What if the same questions come in, comes in your NEET exam? You will be well prepared to defend your ground against it. I cannot emphasize the importance of practice and mock test while preparing for the NEET exam. Just remember, practice is the key to success, and the more you practice, the more you will improve. Mock test give you an insight into the actual exam environment. What you will be doing there, what you will be doing in those three hours, 20 minutes when you will be sitting in the exam hall. It's a great way to evaluate your performance. 
you will be knowing beforehand uh, your you will be um, knowing beforehand the sharp points, the strong points. I'm sorry, the PPT and my thing is not in sync, but yeah. so remember, need is ju not just about memorizing concepts. You can um, or okay, some may say that uh, you can do do it memorizing, but no, uh, you can solve biology by memorizing, but not physics and chemistry also. So. The conceptual part, the theoretical part can uh, like memorize, but what about the numericals and where you have to like implement uh, formulas and all. So it's not just about memorizing, it's about how well you can apply them in a limited amount of time. You have 180 questions, you have 180 minutes. So you have one minute for a question with which I don't find sufficient. So you need to be well prepared. You just can't see a question for the first time in the NEET exam and you can you cannot think of it. Uh, with more problem solving skills and gain the confidence to take on your question is to solve previous year questions to, or to take more questions. It's crucial to understand the exam pattern and the weightage of the different topics. Like for uh, the year that I took, the exam pattern was changed. Uh, instead of 180 questions, there were 200 questions. Uh, we were given three hours, 20 minutes of time. It was a bit different. So we need to be well aware of the exam pattern. Uh, that's my urge uh, to all of you to include practice and mock test in your daily study notes. Set aside time to solve previous year question papers, sample paper, and mock test. Analyze your performance, learn from your mistakes, and keep practicing until you achieve a desired score. It's all about practice. I guess uh, in my during the presentation, I have solved at least 10,000 questions. I had six. Uh, Book, uh, six 300 pages books which were just to solve MCQs. They were all filled up. You must take breaks and give yourself some time to relax in future. Exercise, meditation, or preparation. Roshan, you're not audible. Like situation that we are Your voice is breaking in between. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, like, is this better? Ah, but in between, actually, it breaks down. So that's why. No problem. You continue. So, that not every day is important. Just keep on learning, keep doing our and just moving forward, patient challenge. So, that's as always, it's 10 minutes for For my preparation here, I started my new presentation the day that I gave the class, the 10th standard exam for. Geography, I remember, which was cancelled due to COVID. And uh, the, my need preparation ended on the day that I gave my need exam. But uh, in between two to three times, I thought that I won't be able to make, uh, like, I won't be able to clear the exam. But uh, you need to have patience and believe in yourself. 
there will be time when you will think that you will not be able to clear it but it's just your sheer belief in your abilities that what you have done till now obviously if you have not prepared well you know that you are not going to clear it i do not i am not encouraging you to falsely believe uh, that it is very easy it is indeed hard 19 lakh students sit for the exam every year out of which there are 46 to 50000 feet so yes it is indeed difficult but if you know that you have prepared well you know that you will see it okay some growth So focus on important objectives of the project is great. Embrace your strengths and become a work of genius. For example, do not believe that while preparing for the five or six competitions, be consistent with those. So as go back to the most relevant. As in college also, my course, uh, my course subjects were PC and B. But yes, uh, you need to focus on your all-round development, not just on anything. Uh, not just on any particular. Also, clear. Uh, it's not necessary that you uh, that you clear the exam the first time. There are many people who attempt three attempts, and I'm not encouraging you. Uh, I'm not discouraging you. But yes, marks is not the uh, exam is not the identity. For example, uh, if you take marks of the first uh, standard seven, uh, for which I also did not think that I will be able to clear the exam. Two months before me the exam, I lost my grandfather. My lost uh, as he was after that. After which I did not study. And in the last few months, I just contemplated uh, about how I can how I can clear my uh, last three years of study. But yes, at the end, it's uh, prepared well. Success is not just about the end results, but the path to get to it. Ah, there are these things. I'm telling you, it's not just mindset matters. I have been like pressuring it all the time that mindset matters. So, to have a proper mindset, it's important. We need to have it in your mind that you can clear the exam. Yes, it's a false. So right now I have got the odd points that I think you all previously knew. So uh, till now I. Have Maybe seven points, but not two and not not four. Now let me share my first two expectations. I think it can be. I am sure it cannot be able to motivate. So while I was in this time, I was just surfing the internet. Ah, maybe it's that. But it's theory. What should I be doing in the future? Just then the part crossed my mind that I should do. That day, I had a resolution in my mind that I need to do what I have thought of, nothing else. It started. Nine hundred went for the start of the two. After then, the exams over uh, started. Uh, as I already told you, my daughter's exam was cancelled. The day my exam was cancelled, from that day I started uh, studying. Uh, now, the for information, I did not take any course offline or online, so it was all the pure self study. Yes, uh, some part on YouTube maybe, but outside of it, it was just pure dedication for the next three years. I tell you, uh, I used to like uh, they were online lectures, so sometimes I start to contact the uh, content on the online lectures, and sometimes I I did not. Teachers were very supportive. I used to ask them help from WhatsApp and email, so I used to call them. Now, let's kind of start from the month of January. So it was already ready for us to start the challenge, uh, like for me to cover it and for it. I kept on going for myself. Uh, I had this engaged uh, book. It's explaining the concept, and now you have to see the answer so, for every chapter. Now, at the end, four more questions. Uh, of the six of the books I got, 
At the end, I was not expecting like when you give me one, I was expecting somebody to fight to fight. But the uh, result was to be announced. Uh, the day that the result was to be announced, it was not. The whole day went through. I was not able to sleep, and I I got to that my main score is six seventy eight for sure. But then all India ran six three hundred and forty two in the percentile of ninety nine point nine. Okay. Yeah, so that was all about my need preparation journey. I hope I was able to give you sufficient points on uh, what to do and what not to do. I after that I can also share since we have time I can also share how I got selected into AFMC. So I after the need result came I was in my village I just. Just a moment, I got this. So after the uh, after the neat exams, I was in my village, uh, and I just randomly filled up the form. For the Armed Forces Medical College, three days went by, and I got an email that we are shortlisted out of 46,000 candidates to attend the screening process uh, at the Armed Forces Medical College, Pune. So I did not like. Uh, firstly, I did not give a thought about it that why would I join Armed Forces, but uh, I thought why not give it a try. So I. I went to Pune. It was a five day. It was a five days interview process. It went smoothly, and the result was declared. I was selected with rank one in the selection criteria, and here I am. Uh, for I have done my first semester from AFMC, and now giving you guidance session on NEET. So that's it from my side. Any questions from you guys? Now I am able to take it. Over to you, Amit. uh thank you rashan uh, it was a wonderful session uh, in spite of uh, having some internet uh, glitches uh, you could able to explain all the points and definitely it is not easy to share your two years journey in just a span of 40 45 minutes but still you tried your level best and um, we are actually fortunate we teachers we entire uh, team of jhunjhunwala college that um, we were able to serve a ch child like you who are now going to serve the nation in the afmc and uh, i wasn't knowing that you were the rank 1 in the training session so once again many many congratulations to you and um, a very all the best uh, for the future also roshan um <clears throat> now uh, uh, we will be having a short question and answer session so if any student want to ask any question to roshan um he can let me know i can just unmute him or her and then you can answer you can ask your question you can just raise your hand so that i'll come to know or you can post your question in the chat box also i'll be able to read that question and roshan can answer that so if any student having any question regarding neat preparation uh roshan there is one question um how to reduce negative marking yeah uh this is something uh once my teacher told me okay so this is something once my teacher told me uh like if you want to clear neat and want to get a government medical college your wrong answer should be in single digits that is less than 10 because if you are uh, like because if you are uh, making 10 questions wrong uh, you are already losing 50 marks and 50 marks you guys so 
uh, is very uh, crucial for screening uh, for selection in government medical college. Negative marking, I see uh, for reducing negative marking, it's all about your preparation. If you are well prepared, you will be already knowing the answer to the question. But if you really don't know the answer to the questions, it's not the best way to take a tuska. Just leave the question. So at least you will you will lose the poor marks that uh, you would have gotten by uh, marking the right answer. But you will not lose the one marks that you will uh, lose after marking the wrong answer. So ne reducing negative marking is uh, there is just one way to know the concept or to leave the question. There's no other way out. Okay, there's one more question. Um, sir, I have my NEET exam on 7th May. That is the coming one. Uh, my mock test score is stuck to 500 marks. How can I increase it? Because today is already 24. So I think she has 6 plus 7 around 2 weeks in her hand. So how can she score more? Like she's already scoring 500 then. Uh... If he or she has made their own notes, they need to go through them. Uh, the one point that I missed uh, during the entire session is that make your own notes. Not for uh, this year batch, it's not feasible. For the next year, uh, guys who are giving the giving need the next year, make your very own notes so that the end moment you go through them in your very own language and uh, grasp the concept. But for right now, if she he she has the notes, uh, they need to revise the whole syllabus one time again go through all the formula parts and all but it's very very late to uh give any other method to increase the score like to the pain it's our revision in the end uh, for like you need to complete your syllabus if you are giving need you need to complete your syllabus at least by february end not like later than that. before that that is very good uh, the last two to three months, you need to keep it for revision. Okay, thank you, Roshan. I have uh, given an option to unmute student. Uh, so you can one by one, but you can unmute and you can question, like you can ask your question. Any other question, student? Unmute and ask your question. So there's a question that um, normally the need students like they like biology a lot, right, sir? This was actually one of my question also. Uh, and chemistry, they find it okay, but they are finding main problem in physics because without scoring good marks in physics, you cannot be 650 or 600 plus because even if a student scored 350 in biology out of 360 and 150 in chemistry maximum. So it is total 500. So to mm -hmm. go beyond 600 or 650, uh, he or she is supposed to score around 125 or 150 out of 180, which normally students find it difficult. So what can we do to improve our physics? Uh, that's where the problem lies. You need to be an all-rounder to clear NEET exam. Uh, physics, uh, by uh, by fundamental, uh, like we think physics is hard, uh, but once Everything seems hard. Like uh, you fetch an art student and give him the you give him your biology textbook. He will obviously find it hard to comprehend. But with practice and uh, with practice comes perfection. So as you go through it again and again, you will definitely master the concepts. I too had uh, this problem in the beginning that physics is very hard to grasp. But you guys won't believe. I studied the first chapter seven times. Uh, like in the beginning of my uh, 11th standard, I studied the first chapter. I guess it is more concept seven times to gra uh, grasp what it is, the basics and all. So that's my point. Like everything is hard for everyone, but with practice comes perfection. Uh, you just need to go through it. There's like no other way. The best way is to fetch a teacher. You cannot ask a teacher to like teach a whole lesson uh, once again, but if you go through it yourself, you have particular doubts, you can definitely approach them and they'll be glad to as I Very true, Roshan. I always tell students that don't re read 10 books, but read one book 10 times. Okay. 
So if you keep reading them, you know, as Roshan mentioned, that he's read the first chapter seven times. So yeah, definitely, if you keep reading it again and again, the one which you are finding difficult will become easy. Uh, so there's one question from Atharva that if you don't know the answer of any question, what we should do? Try to attempt or move it to the next question. If we are sure. first glance, if we are not getting the answer, should we try it and you know? Hmm. Yeah. If it is an exam case scenario, you are sitting in the exam hall, well, leave it for uh, leave. Come back. Come back. Uh, sorry, you are not less than 90. Just, just a moment, sir. Just a moment. Sorry, just a moment. Yeah. So I was uh, I was stating that uh, if you are sitting at the exam hall with no answer to the question, leave it as of now, uh, solve the whole question paper, come back to it at the end. And then if you are 90% sure or more than 90% sure that this could be the answer, you mark it or leave it. Uh, as already discussed in the first uh, Q&A question, how to reduce negative marking. Obviously, uh, you will not be just losing your four marks, but the one uh, another hard earned marks. Uh, so if you are not sure of the answer, just uh, leave it for now. Come back when you have more time. And yet, if you, can, if, if you are not decisive, uh, leave it. There's like no point in losing the marks that you have earned from the right questions. OK, thank you, Roshan. Uh, any other question? Uh, yes, one more question. Uh, regarding reference book, what you will suggest? Chemistry, those who are finding hard to grasp can go for other reference books, but I did not. I already stated that I had Sengage, which had awesome like uh, explanation of concepts uh, simultaneously with MCQs. So I went for Sengage. Everyone has their own preference. Everyone has their own different way of learning. But for biology, I suggest do not deviate from NCRT. Like there's no point in deviating from NCRT for biology. Since it's uh, just theory based, you need to be aware of everything. But there's nothing that you cannot understand in biology, I guess. Uh, so there's no need for reference book on biology, but for physics and chemistry, depends. Thank you. One question I have uh, is, sir, we should study. There's a question. Some... What if a student is just going through the NCRT textbook for physics, chemistry also? Is it enough or uh, we should look for some, as you mentioned, Sengage or some other publication books also? Physics and chemistry, from my point of view, NCRTs are not sufficient. Uh, like, in the sense, they are sufficient for, but for those guys who have been reading it from four to five years, uh, the terminology used in them is very, quite hard. So it is like not feasible to study from NCRT for physics and chemistry. You find your very own reference book, the one which you find easy to go through and go through it. But for physics and chemistry, I won't. For chemistry, yeah, you can do it one time, but not, I will uh, not in a hundred times suggest you that you go for, uh, go NCRT for physics. Okay. There's a question that is MTG fingertips is good for physics or chemistry fingertips. NCRT. I, ha I have heard about it, not used. I did not use it, so I won't be able to suggest. I have one question, direct message to me. Sir, we should study more from NCRT or state board textbook. For NCRT and state board textbook, I mostly find it similar, but I prefer NCRT. Okay. Any other questions, students? You can unmute and un question or you can directly message. I think we have covered uh, maximum questions uh, from the student. So, no more questions, students? Sir, I have a doubt. Yes, yes, Jyoti. Uh, sir, how to prepare for your weak subject in physics, chemistry, or bio? 
Hello. Yes, yes, yes. Roshan will answer you. Sir, my weak subject is physics. Okay. Obviously, we expect that answer from ninety percent of the NEET aspirants. So, we do. If you pitch a guy and give him biology, he will definitely find it difficult. Uh, I I will not say that it is not difficult. It is indeed difficult, but to, but practice you will go through it. There, like there is no other back door to understand it. Okay, sir. Thank you. Welcome. Any other question? And sir, uh, if we have taken PCMB, so on what we should focus more? If uh, I am need aspirant. Um. I did quite have an issue with that too. I I also did so a PCMB. I was not very good at maths, but if you see, uh, twenty to thirty percent or more, I can say, uh, of mathematics that you are taught in eleventh and twelfth comes into physics. Uh, so it's not about sheer focus. You definitely need to pass the board exams as well to be eligible for NEET. So it's not about focusing on this or that. It's about सबको साथ में लेके चलना है अलग अलग करके नहीं चल सकते हम लोग okay. इनके क्वेश्चन से मुझे एक क्वेश्चन आ रहा है बहुत सारे बच्चे ऐसे होते हैं जो नीट प्रिपेयर करते हैं पीसीबी के लिए तो वो बोलते हैं हमारे लिए मैथ्स कोई काम का नहीं है हम मैथ्स के जगह कोई और सब्जेक्ट ले लेते हैं तो आप क्या एडवाइस करते हो क्या मैथ्स नीट वालों के लिए जरूरी है भले एग्जाम में नहीं हो बट क्या उसका कोई यूज होगा या अगर मैथ्स नहीं लेंगे तो भी वो uh better perform kar sakte hain what is your point of view on this actually maths is necessary you need to have it to solve physics numericals chemistry numericals aap to, like maths is an integral part aap usko chhod ke kuch nahi kar sakte you do not think that i leave maths maths take geography and ace neat that is not one way to do it uh, without maths uh, like 20 40% of physics i can say there is uh, there is nothing in physics 40% You need to have maths in your syllabus. Without that, see, when you have maths in your uh, state board syllabus, you have one more way of understanding uh, the concepts of uh, derivation and integration. Leaving maths is not an option. Definitely, the ma um the marks that you score in mathematics uh, will not matter in NEET examinations. But I definitely suggest that you have uh, mathematics in your syllabus. Sir, here I would like to add that uh, study of maths develop decision making, precision, observation, perfection, accuracy. These qualities develop due to study of maths. So these qualities are also required to crack the exam. Though, as uh, Roshan has rightly mentioned, the score is not considered, but these qualities are important to crack the exam. Thank you. No one book uh, for MCQs, but definitely uh, you do not go to advanced. I do not remember the names right now, but there are some books which take you to a whole advanced level uh, of MCQs, which do not comes in need. Like you do not need to be prepared for that. So, MDG fingertips, uh, you can go for it. Sengage, I have gone through it. There are two, three more books that you can take the advice from your teacher, but. Uh, definitely for the mcq solving books since you are going to stick it for a whole year uh, definitely take a suggestion uh, just uh, mtg or sengage which i have myself have solved okay uh, roshan there is one more question that suppose in case if a student was not sure that whether he'll be going in medicine during his 11th standard preparation and maybe after 11th standard he decided to go in medicine so is one year is sufficient to prepare for neat examination can a student manage the entire preparation in one year he or she definitely cannot get air one in uh, one year but yeah uh, it is definitely sufficient to get a score of 600 plus like uh, there is no way that you prepare for a one whole year and uh, you do not get good marks in neat so yes it is definitely possible but uh, yeah you need to have 
very good dedication because you're already a year behind uh, those with whom you're going to compete. Also a neat exam, I would like to mention one more point. It's not just about how you perform. It's about how others perform as well. Like in a race, you cannot say that I am running. You also need to see how fast your other competitors are running. Suppose uh, four to five years ago, 670, 680 was the All India rank one. Nowadays, we are getting people with score of 720. Of them to uh, two or three people are getting out of scores. So it's not just about you. You need to like keep in mind that there are other competitors as well. Uh, there's one common question to every student. Uh, basically who is from state board that how can we manage the state board and NEET uh, NCRT together because when we study NEET we are focused more on concept and solving MCQs and whereas for board examination we need to theory we need to buy hard the question and answer so students find it difficult that right? you know when they are studying NCRT somewhere they feel that they are not able to give the best to the boards and if they're focusing on boards, their practice for MCQ is reduced. So how can we balance the NCRT need preparation and their board studies? Those of you who do not know, I did not have a very good score in 12 standard state boards, which uh, in turn uh, like demotivated me uh, in need exams that I won't get a good score. but those two things are definitely not interconnected but uh, yes you also need to prepare for board exams since agar aapka 50% nahi hoga pcb mein so you will not be getting a like, you get 720 in it but you do not have 50% in board exams it's nothing of use one point which i can definitely guarantee you is that if you have gone well through the ncrt you can definitely get 60-70% easily at board exams. So that should not be an issue, uh, except for maths, which I know that most, most or you can say 90% of the NEET aspirants try to avoid maths, which is not a good way to approach it. Okay. Uh, any other question? Okay, I have got one question, sir. Mm, so. How to revise all syllabus at end? Uh, any tip how you have revised? Okay, so yes, I, it took me 20, 22 or 23 days to revise the whole syllabus, PCB, 11th and 12th standard. There, uh, there is no one method that suits everyone. But yes, you need to have your very own notes so that in the end, you are not looking at NCRT with difficult terminology which you cannot understand. Rather than having your own notes, which you wrote by your own hand in your own language, that you can uh, like grasp in minutes. That's the best way to revise. Okay, so one more question. So how many hours you studied for board and NEET exam? So as I told you already, hours do not matter. But yet I would uh, like to let you know, it was eight to nine hours for NEET and one to two hours for boards, which was in the last two to three months. Other than that, I did not study for boards, but I do not discourage you from studying for boards. Uh, it is definitely very important, but since that was the question. So for the revision question, yes, it's uh, all about how you approach it, but you definitely can't go through the textbook material. All six of the books, all six or, six or seven of the books at the end uh, in the month or two. So I prefer to, I prefer that you have your own notes. Also, making notes give you a good habit of uh, like making your own ways to remember formula. And like uh, for the biological hierarchy, uh, I had my own uh, shortcuts for remembering it. So making your own notes give you opens up a whole world of possibilities. So that's one best way to revise. And for the arts one, I would like to definitely again tell you that there's no one there's no one book that suits everyone. But yes, if you want to get 650 plus, it's definitely seven to eight hours of studies is needed if you are studying uh, like uh, decisively. One more question. Sir, how many MCQs should we solve for PCB? Okay. For PCB, as I already told you, when I, when I completed studying a chapter, I used to solve 250 MCQs. 
which I definitely can tell you that I was not able to solve all of them. The ones which I was not able to solve, I used to go through the chapter again. Still, there were some questions that were left. I used to leave them behind, uh, complete two to three more chapters in the same subject and then come again for them. So for MCQs, I can say that I solved in the three years, I solved more than 10 to 12,000 of MCQs. Uh, MTG fingertips and NCRT is enough for physics. I've been uh, emphasizing a lot on the point that and there's no one thing that suits everyone. But for me, if you're asking for me, yes, it would have been MTG fingertips and NCRT could have been like enough for physics. But mind you, physics is a very tough subject as you, every, as everyone perceives it, which I think is not. So yes, you can up, definitely approach with MTG and NCRT. Okay, one more question. So what do you do when you feel demotivated in studies? So I have a term for it. Uh, I Googled it once. It is called imposter syndrome. You think that uh, in a poster syndrome, you think that like you are not made for that particular thing, which particularly isn't true. Which isn't true. So when you feel demotivated, just remember your past journey. Like after selection also, I used to think that uh, medical studies are very hectic. And why, uh, like, why am I doing this? But when you look at the past, when you see the hardships that you faced, which definitely if you have studied, when you look at the hardship that you faced, the demotivation turns into motivation. You will think that if I have done this much, uh, like struggle till now to achieve uh, what I am, uh, what I am currently, so that will give you motivation. I can like promise you there's no one who does not feel demotivated, especially while studying for uh, national exams like NEET. But those succeed who come out out of the demotivation, and those who do not stay there. Okay. Like they go for BSc. Okay. So I think we have covered almost all the questions, and the question will never stop. So uh, now is the time to end this session. Uh, I would like to extend my thanks to Roshan. Uh, who has taken his valuable time and shared his experience. I would like to also thank uh, our dear Kamlakar sir, who has taken the initiative and um, to bring Roshan on this platform so that the students of uh, RG College can be benefited from this. We have lived this session on the YouTube also. So maybe many other college students must have seen this entire session. So again, once again, thank you everybody, all the students, all the teachers who have joined and especially Roshan and wish you all the best. And we hope you to see soon in the college. Um, uh, it is always good when we see our students uh, reaching to the skies. So we, we wish you all the best on behalf of entire uh, college, Hindi Vidya Prachar Samitis College. I wish you all the best and wish you all the students all the very best for your neat examination. Thank you very much. Thank you, Roshan, once again. So we'll end the session, students, here. Thank you very much. Take care.